Hi, I'm Alvin Sequeira, CTO and VP for Security and Networking at VMware. With me here today is Guru Parulkar, Executive Director for ON Labs and ONRC at Stanford. Guru, tell us a little bit about yourself. Okay, so I've been in the field of networking for over 20 years or over 25 years now. Uh, and I've been fortunate enough to have worked in academia, uh, in startups, and as well as in the government. And I've been also fortunate that I got to work with some very good people. So initially when I was a graduate student, I worked with Dave Farber, uh, who was leading uh, CSNet and NSFNet with your advisor, Larry Landweber at the time, that is a precursor to the current internet. Then I went to Washington University as a professor of computer science, where Jonathan Turner was leading the effort on ATM and fast packet switching. So I was part of that for 10 years or 12 years. Then I came to Silicon Valley to do startups. So I did some successful startup and not so successful startups. <laughs> then I went to National Science Foundation uh, where I was involved in starting some of the programs like Genie uh, and Future Internet Design. Then came to Stanford where I'm working with Nick McEwen as well as Scott Shankar at UC Berkeley for this open networking research center. So all in all, 20 years in networking and I've had a great ride so far. A couple of weeks ago, you hosted the Open Network Summit. Tell us a little more about your experience here at Stanford and what led to the program, led to the ONRC, led to the ON.labs. It would be really good for our viewers to get your insights there. So maybe I should take you back to a time frame that is 2003 time frame okay so that was the time when the networking research community was starting to feel that it is losing its grip on the evolution of the internet uh, right or wrong networking research community believed that it it was the one that created the internet and then in 90s and 2000 they started to feel that they were not having as much impact on net internet and the evolution of the internet so there was some frustration, some disappointment. So at the time, I was at National Science Foundation. And so with the community, we started these two programs. One is called Genie, and another one is called Future Internet Design. So the research community wanted to get back into internet and say, what can we do to think about internet architecture for the future that is beyond the current internet? And so that led to this research program called Future Internet Design. But the research community also wanted an infrastructure or a facility on which they could experiment with their new ideas and be able to demonstrate their ideas at some scale in a realistic setting. So National Science Foundation started this program called Genie to build a nationwide infrastructure on which ideas from Future Internet Design research program can be tried out and they can be tried at the national scale uh, and people can experiment with that. So I was leading the Genie program, I was leading the Future Internet Design program at NSF and then Stanford University started a program called Clean Slate Internet Design with a similar mission, similar goal that if we could design an internet today from 20 or 30 years of hindsight as well as what we know is coming on the future, what type of internet would be designed? As you can imagine that at Stanford, almost there are 15, 20 professors that are <laughs> wanting to shape the future of internet. And so they all came together and started a program called Clean Slate Internet Design. So by the time I was getting done with NSF, uh, Stanford was starting this Clean Slate Internet Design program. So they recruited me to come and help run this particular program. And that's what I have been doing since 2007. Now coming to Clean Slate program, uh, so Clean Slate program, the mission was well defined, but it was relatively, we didn't know how to do anything in the space. We understood what we want to do, but we didn't know what exactly uh, we can do in this space. So the approach we took at the time was we seeded number of small projects and we hope that some of these projects will lead to something significant and they will become flagship projects. So one of the flagship projects that turned out out of Clean Slate program is OpenFlow and software defined networking. This is kind of new way of thinking about uh, internet infrastructure and enable more innovations and more, uh, re, I mean, uh, faster uh, innovation in internet infrastructure space. And that is what led to open point software defined networking. And it has been reasonably successful. 
the open flow and software defined networking and so this year we decided that we want to exclusively want to focus on open flow and software defined networking and that led to creation of this new program called open networking research center guru again congratulations uh, not only has it been successful but you fundamentally have made a vast uh, change and impact to the internet with google's announcement about the stn and open flow changing uh, using traffic engineering rather than routing in the core and and so the impact is already here i'm amazed at the amount and extent of the enthusiasm and the innovation going on in the industry primarily leading out of these efforts out of stanford and berkeley and company where do you see uh, if you had to wave your magic wand over the next few mm -hmm. years and um, uh, wish to uh, project a certain di uh, direction or wish to see certain success areas what's uh, what's uh, what's that you would like to see so I guess that's a very difficult question to answer we don't know how things will play out but i think there are few trends that are very easy to kind of bet on at this point so first trend is i think we all would agree that networking is going to become more and more software defined and networks are going to become more and more programmable so i think that is something that is safe to bet on also networks will become programmable in the sense that they can be used as programmable plug and play uh, components of a larger cloud infrastructure so you can orchestrate cloud services and use network as a programmable component so I think that is also something we can uh, kind of bet on and this is definitely going to play out another thing we can probably bet on is virtualization of networking as you guys have done virtualization of servers and that has been a very very important construct or a building block similarly virtualization of networks is going to be a very important capability or a feature that will be become mainstream over the next coming years so i think those are the things that we can potentially expect to see happen but beyond that predicting how exactly things will play out and in which domains of use how things will play out like in data center versus enterprise versus service provider or for home network those are the things that are difficult to know and that will depend on all the um, uh, tension between how incumbents want to do it how the startups would want to do it how hardware companies would do it how the software companies would yeah. want to do it so it needs to be seen but I think the end result is it's going to be a very exciting few years in the field of networking and how it fits into the larger cloud infrastructure. Guru, one of the initiatives you recently started is the ON Research Center and the ON Lab. Uh, can you tell us a little more about uh, what uh, the thinking behind that uh, was and what you're hoping to achieve there? Okay, so you can think of like we completed one phase of SDN and open flow during the last four or five years and we have demonstrated the potential of open flow and software defined networking and as you said it has captured the imagination of the industry. Now we are entering the second phase of open flow and SDN and we think that there are two things that we need to do. One is we need to develop comprehensive intellectual framework for software defined networking what are the different abstractions how do you partition it how do you uh, define these abstractions so that is one important thing and that belongs very nicely in the research and that's what we are trying to explore at Stanford and Berkeley but at the same time if networking is going to go software then we have to use some of the successful recipes of software world and one of them is to be able to build open source tools and platforms that the larger industry can use. So the mission of the open networking lab is to create uh, open source SDN tools and platform that we can develop, deploy and support for the larger community. And that is what we are trying to do at open networking lab. And we are trying to recruit the best team that we can, the team that is passionate about building open source tools and platforms and a team that is passionate about having an impact with the open source tools and platform. So that's what Open Networking Lab is all about. Well, uh, Guru, thank you for taking the time today to come over and have a chat with us. VMware is obviously very excited about uh, all of these initiatives. Uh, We're excited about being part of the ON uh, Research Center and the labs and being an active participant in that initiative. We do believe the mix of the framework and um, uh, the labs should uh, bring these ideas to fruition. Thank you again for your time. Um, uh, it's really nice to have you opposite the street here from VMware.
and uh, we look forward to have many more such events in the future. Thank you again. I uh, really appreciate the opportunity and look forward to working with you.